A building constructed in 1895 is bound to have a few skeletons in its closet. Today we're going to look into the Spokane County Courthouse. Facilities Director Ron Oscarson knows more than just a few courthouse secrets. Things like this were made in the late 18s, early 1900s. Including the hidden tunnel that runs underneath the parking lot. It starts underneath the old jail. On the plans for the original jail, they called that the drunk tank. And runs right alongside the new one. Though it doesn't actually connect for any of you planning an escape. It's against the rules to have back doors in and out of the jail, you know. They were going to do it, though. This would be where it'd be done. Some of the courthouse's best kept secrets are actually hidden in plain sight. Where I'm standing right now is where two brutal murderers were executed. Today, they call this place the customer service area. So the reason you see these bars on these windows here and here isn't to keep people from the courthouse from getting in here, it's to keep you and me who are out here as inmates from escaping through the courthouse and getting out of here. 114 years ago, this room was a courtyard that contained a makeshift gallows. So it really wasn't a huge courtyard, big enough for inmates to do their exercise, and I guess big enough for the 300 uh, people they invited to the, to the hangings. You heard that right. The county actually sent out invitations to the executions they held. Here, right in front of the public safety building, a third man was hanged. Some say his spirit didn't leave so easily. In 1892, Charles Brooks was the first man to be officially executed in Spokane County after killing his wife in what is now Riverfront Park. But according to a century-old newspaper article, he returned three months later to haunt the clerks in the courthouse auditor's office. They claimed to see his ghost clutching at his neck while perched on the scaffold where he died. So, if fortune finds you at the courthouse this October, you may want to look over your shoulder. This is Rashad Hardnett and photojournalist Nathan Brand, Crim2 News.